Welcome back to our series on double linked list inside of Python. So in our last video, we talked about inserting after a particular node, inserting before a particular node. And then we also, I think that was it. Oh, inserting at the end of our list. So we basically cover three different operations. I forgot to, <laughs> basically I forgot to, um, uh, do the operations in it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to do those operations. So uh, really what I'm going to do here is I'm going to define a uh, reference node. And then from here, uh, we'll just grab the first node. So the first node, just simply take that double list and then grab the, the head. And then from here, what we're going to do is we'll insert before that node. So basically we're inserting it before the, the head. So we'll say insert underscore before we have our first node and then we'll insert the value of uh, 50. And then so um, I'm just gonna copy this. Again, I wanna make sure it's very clear as to um, um, after insertion before. And then what we'll do is I'll grab this one. Uh, and then uh, insert end, and then <clears throat> what we'll do is, so this is insert before, insert end, and then, um, so this is going to insert at the end of our list, so we'll just do those two. What did I do wrong? Oh, did I not? Oh, well, that would probably work if I put double list. And then, <clears throat> did I not run this? Okay. Oh, can't do it today, I'm telling you. After insertion at end. Okay, so with this one, we're inserting it in uh, before a particular node. So basically, we're just inserting it before that particular one. And then this one, we're inserting at the end. And then so <clears throat> we'll talk about one other one, which is inserting after. And really, what I'll do here is I'll grab another one. And then what I'll do is I'll say just, I don't know, second node or something like that. And we'll say next node. And then with this one, it's gonna be insert after. And then this is the second node. And then, what is this one, I have 70, yeah. And then I'll do another one, again, just to demonstrate, I guess. And then, uh, this one is insertion after. Okay, and so now you can kind of see basically it's just it's just inserting after those ones. So at this point, all of our operations are working, <clears throat> which is good. It's better than the alternative, right, where they're not working. So now that we've done that, let's go into uh, a new one. So we'll talk about reversing our list. So maybe. We, have, we want to basically have it where this is now um, our first node, and then this one would be our last node. So how would that look? Well, we'll define a new method. We'll call it reverse underscore list. Again, it will take the list itself. We're going to define two nodes. Define two nodes. The first node and the second node. <clears throat> and so we'll just call it p node equals self.head and then we'll have q node equals the p node but the next node so the node that comes after that and then um, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the the start node and we're going to have it point to nothing because if the start node is now going to be the end node we know that the end node points to nothing right and so Basically, all that means is take that p node, uh, set the next node property equal to none. 
It's very important that you do this operation first before you do this one or else you're gonna hit all sorts of bad results, which you don't want, obviously. And then we're gonna take our Q node and then we're gonna set that previous node equal to, <clears throat> or sorry, sorry, not the P node, the, sorry, the P node and have that equal the Q node. And so really, what are we doing here? So if our P node is the first one, well, that's gonna now be the new N1. And so now we want the node that comes after at that to be the second node. So it's kind of like flip-flopping that. So that really all we're doing here is we're just flip-flopping the pointer. So now they're kind of pointing the opposite directions. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, uh, keep going till the end. And we're gonna say while the Q node is not none, Flip the previous with the next, so take your Q node, set the previous node equal to the Q node's next node. So we're just flip-flopping the pointers, that's all you're doing. <clears throat> and then we're gonna say, have the Q node's next node point to the P node. And then we're now gonna basically have the two equal each other, so now we're gonna say uh, the P node equal the Q node, and then we're gonna have that Q node equal Q nodes uh, dot previous node. And then once you're done with all that, redefine the head. And we'll say self dot head equals the P node. Okay, let's maybe take a second and kind of look and see what we're doing. <laughs> okay, so let's imagine, so this is our Q node. Well, we know the Q node is the second node, right? Okay, so take the second node's previous pointer and now have it equal the Q node's next node. So, okay, so you're flipping the previous with the next. So you're kind of basically like, it's almost in a sense like you were to do like a 180 rotation. That's kind of how you should think about it. So you're just doing like a 180 rotation. And then what are you doing next? Okay, well now you're taking that Q node and you're saying the next node, so the one that comes kind of basically after it, so we've, we basically are saying, okay, that's gonna equal that P node. So it's gonna equal the head. Because remember, it's, you're, you're flip-flopping um, the, the head with the tail. Then you're just equating the two. So you're just saying they're equal. So you're saying P node is equal to Q node. And then from here, you're saying Q node equals Q node dot previous node. So you're just reassigning the pointer again. And then finally, once you're done with everything, you um, you know, you just redefine your head. So again, hopefully that, that made sense. You're just flip-flopping the pointers. That's really all you're doing. You're, you're flip-flopping the pointers. You're making sure they're pointing to the right objects. Surprisingly, I think sometimes people think this is going to be a more complicated operation. It's not. You're just flip-flopping. That, that's really all you're doing. Um, but that, that's really that component. Okay, so now the next one. <clears throat> now we're going to talk about some delete operations. So what if we want to delete at the start of our list, right? So we'll say uh, define delete at start. Again, that will take the uh, list itself. And we'll have to handle the uh, empty case list or empty case scenario. So basically what I'll just do here is uh, copy that. So again, if the head is none, we have an empty list, so there's nothing to delete, right? That's kind of the logic. And then you wanna just make sure you return out of it. Okay, so now we need to handle the uh, only head scenario. So what if there's only a head? So if self.head.nextNode is none, so this is the scenario where we just have a head, set the self head equal to none. Basically, we're just deleting that, that head node. So that handles the, we only have a head case. Otherwise, <clears throat> basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the head now equal the node um, after the head. And so what we're gonna say is self.head equals self dot head dot next node. So equal the node that comes after the head. And then take the previous pointer of your head 
and have that equal none. That's all that's doing. So again, not hopefully that's not too complicated. Hopefully that made sense. You're really just dealing with two scenarios. And then if you do have a, uh, an, a, a case where you have more than you know one element, then you're just saying, hey, the head is now, basically you're just having have the head point to the node that comes after uh, the, uh, what is it? The one that comes after it, that's all. So you're just reassigning it and then you're just changing the uh, the previous node. And again, you're not really changing any pointers at this point because you're just reassigning that head property. That pointer is already there for you. So it's, it's assumed that's kind of already been taken care of for you. Okay, so now that we've done delete at start, let's talk about delete at end. So delete at end, <clears throat> again, takes the list itself. And then finally, like everything else, we've got to handle those two scenarios. And what we'll do, so that's pretty self-explanatory. That's fine, this stays the same. Okay, so now we gotta handle the other situation. So now we have more than one element, so we wanna go to the last element and then basically just reassign some pointers. So grab the first node. So the current one is just gonna equal self.head. And we'll say while current.nextNode is not none, then set the current equal to current dot next node. And then <clears throat> basically it's gonna keep reassigning until it reaches the end. Well, how does it know it reaches the end? Well, that next node pointer is pointing to nothing. And then from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna say, hey, take that current node, grab its previous pointer, and then grab that node's next pointer and have it point to nothing. Basically kind of deleting that node in a sense. So take the current node, grab the node that's behind it, and then on that particular node, grab its next pointer and have it point to nothing. So now that we've defined these wonderful three methods, let's actually test them out, make sure they work, and all that kind of fun stuff. So. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna, well, you already have that one. So uh, reverse the list. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna <clears throat> put that here. And we'll say double underscore list dot reverse. This is first list. Reverse list. All right. And then I need to do some deletions. And then we'll say uh, delete at start. And we'll call this after head deletion. And then we'll say delete at end and we'll say after tail deletion <clears throat> okay perfect and then i just want to make sure that i have everything yes okay perfect Sorry, I like to double check sometimes, but then other times I don't, so it's like anything. What did I do? Oh. Okay, so the head was 100, that d deleted it, and then the tail on this case was 50, and it deleted that tail. So <clears throat> now we've defined those three methods, so we'll call it quits for this video. And then in our next video, we'll see how to remove duplicates. And then I think we have delete element by value and I think rotate list. And I think that's it. So I think after that video, we'll be good to go. And we really should have kind of all the components we need to do a double linked list. But if you obviously have any questions at this point, please put them down in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. Um, other than that, though, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching, everybody.